Last one, then we're gonna get going. I know you guys like shit. She's talking a lot. I'm sorry. And you guys are wanting to learn all these combative techniques. All right. I have drawn, drawn a letter on here, right? What letter is this? It's like a W from here. Okay. What letter is that to you? That's an uh, M. An M. So, if you look at this, everybody's going to look at this a different way. What letter is that to you? E. See, I think all of them are full of shit. Because where I'm standing, that's a three. It's not even a letter. It's a, it's a goddamn number. It's three. <laughs> Right? So he looks at it and he's like, well, that's a W. And she thinks it's an E and he thinks it's an M. And I'm like, you're all fucked. It's not even a letter. You're all full of shit. It's not the alphabet. It's a number. We're talking about numbers. It's a, it's a three. So let's look at ninjutsu. This group over here. Oh, this is the most authentic thing ever. It's an M. It's a perfect lineage. Can't prove the lineage, but it's the perfect lineage. You got this group over here, you know, and they're like, oh, but we have all these traditions and we've, we've got all these different things we've got going on. Right? And you got this group over here, you know, and they're like, well, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not even close to being an M, it's a W, it's on the other side of the fucking spectrum. And yeah, blah, blah. so you, these three groups see this as three different letters. Then you got this group over here. It's like, y'all are dumb. It's a fucking number. Every one of you guys think all that ninjutsu is a martial art. Then you got that one that's like ninjutsu is not a martial art. <laughs> that's that one because of that, yeah? Okay. It's funny, isn't it? But it's true. The reality is every one of these people that said me, that's a three, that's an M, that's a W, that's an E. You're all correct. They're all correct. Because perception, what you see, is based on perspective. And perspective is based on position. Position comes from experience. If you experience certain things, you take a position on that experience. That experience now gives you perspective and knowledge of that, which then helps you perceive the world. If you've only been raised in a violent, aggressive, hateful world, everything you see will probably be violent and aggressive and hateful. Because that's all you know. Your perception, based on perspective, is going to be violent and hateful. If you were raised up to be everything all love and happy and everyone's yelling kumbaya and holding hands around the fireplace and, you know, this kind of thing and being all happy, happy, then you would think the world is just nothing but sunshine and rainbows. Because you're, that is your your perception will be based off the perspective that everything is just happy. Right? So, when this side over here sees an M, they're right. And this side says it's a W. They're right. And this one says it's an E. They're right. All those letters are correct. And the individual that's out on the side saying, nope, you're all fucking wrong, it's a number, it's three. That person is right too. Because they can only express themselves from the perspective of which they are. The real question is, does their position of being right from their perspective matter? You know what I mean? Like an example, I was talking, I think it was D2 over there, we were talking about, you know, the gods and whatnot. And I was like, you know, the dog, my dog walked by, Gabby. I said, you know, Gabby, Gabby doesn't look at us, humans, and think we're made in the image of God. She's a dog. She probably thinks God is just a bigger dog. Because in Gabby's world, because in Gabby's world, you know, I walk her every I, I I walk her every night. I give her water. I give her food. I take care of her. Hell, in Gabby's world, I am her servant. <laughs> she sleeps on my bed. She sleeps on my couch. She gets free food. She gets a whole backyard. 
that you guys get to step in her shit? <laughs> right? In her world, God is probably just a big dog. Well, only, it's only us that think that we're made in the image. Because if, 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 that, if, if, if all the animals who are part of nature came from the same bit, believed that to be true, why are they all scared of us? Why doesn't a deer walk up and just eat food? A wild deer walk up and eat food out of your hand. If we are supposed to look like the divine. They are made by the divine. Who's to say they're not divine? It's perspective. Right? But unfortunately, you got this group over here that like the M. And they want to kill the people that, you know, think it's a W. And the people that think it's the E, we'll kill them both. And then you got that one group that side that think all religion is shit. It's only science. It's a number. It's all based on math and science. So it's a three. <laughs> right? They fight about it. When I don't think, I think anybody with an open mind can sit there and be like, yeah, if you walk around that piece of paper, I can see how everyone sees that that is true. Why can't they do that with everything else? You thought about that? No, Iga, you got these schools. Iga Ryu Ninjutsu. Okay. Koko Ryu Ninjutsu. Okay. This kind, that kind, this kind, and all those other organizations. Okay. Study groups. Study from strolls. Okay. The ones who have lineages, like, you know, myself or. Tomoryu or Togakuryu or some of the other lineages that are still alive today. Like, to my knowledge, there are four of us today that are still around that still hold a, a lineage, a ninjutsu. Okay. All are correct in their own way. Because from their perspective, of their experience, they perceive what they're doing to be true. Yep. Okay. Someone who practices Judaism is going to look at their religion through their experience and their study and believe this is what's this is what I believe and they're going to have their and they're going to believe it to be true. Not that I'm saying it's wrong. They're going to believe it. You have people who are Christian, same thing. People who are Muslim or Islam, the same thing. People who are pagan, people who are whatever down the line, Sikh, Druidry, blah, blah, blah. Satanists, whatever. They're going to believe it to be true. Why can't we just agree? Why can't you just be okay with it? Why do people have to argue about it? Because from their perspective, they're right. You know what I mean? I can make the same exact lesson and my five-year-old daughter would understand this. I could say, Juliana, I want you to stand right here and I want you to say, stand right here. And what does that look like? And she it's an M. Stand there, what does it look like? Oh, it's an E. And stand there, what does it look like? That's a W. And sit here on my lap. What does it look like? Oh, it's a three. Five-year-old kid can understand that a different position gives you a different perspective, which makes you perceive something different. But adults kill each other over it. You know something? And the majority of things that they want to kill each other is like this paper man-made and holds very little value that's the sad part yeah <laughs>